Well, you're not going to believe this. But you see this red building? It's kind of like a barn. This is the most often painted building in America. Okay, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking there's no way that that, that red barn is the most often painted building in America. I'm talking about being painted by artists. People come from all over the world to paint a picture of that barn, and there you see it again. If you don't believe me, Google motif number one. We're just going to look at this sign over here. We're going to walk in this neighborhood, Bearskin Neck. Then we're going to check out this church. We're going to see Front Beach and the old burial ground. So we're heading into the neighborhood known as Bearskin Neck. It's named from a bear that was caught by the tide and killed in 1700, as this sign clearly says. And there was a fort here that factored into the War of 1812. This neighborhood has lots of little shops and uh, just a ton of art galleries. This whole town has art galleries everywhere. It's a just a very much of a artistic kind of a of a town, I guess. So there's a picture of of that motif number one. There's hundreds of galleries here. Uh, maybe I I should have looked that up. I think there are hundreds of galleries. It seems like there are hundreds. My family is here on vacation. Sandra Bullock was in a movie that was filmed here called The Proposal. Motif number one was in that movie. Here's where we got some fudge the other day. It was really good. We're just going to head up to the top of the street here and we're going to have a nice view when we get there. This is the crunch zone. Cars parked here will be crushed while you shop for stuff. All right. Have a nice day. And my wife tried to get some strudel here the other day, but they were closed. Well, we're just going to look around here. This is a, kind of a nice little area. I like the view. Very peaceful out here early in the morning.
Over on this side we'll be able to see the beach where we um, like to hang out and we swim. I'll just kind of zoom in. Uh, give me a second. That beach right there is where we hang out and swim. A boat heading out for the day. I never noticed before the kids like to make these these rock formations. I think I know who made this one. It wasn't me. But I think I know who it was. Now we're in front of the uh, Congregational Church here, and uh, here you see a cannon which was captured from the British Navy when they tried to raid this town in 1814. In fact, it was September 9th, 1814. And uh, the town was able to repulse the attack and they captured this cannon. And it sits here today. Now up here, if I can show you the steeple, you'll see a little dot there on the steeple. That is the cannonball. That's the actual cannonball that was fired from the cannon. And uh, that is the point of impact. Now this right here is one of the posts that resisted that attack, the actual post, where that cannonball hit. So obviously it didn't hit the steeple as it sits today, but this is the post and that cannonball is on the steeple now. Well, I've made a quick little journey over to the next town over. We're in Gloucester, Massachusetts now. And uh, if there was ever a fishing town, this is it. Gloucester. And uh, in fact, we're going to see the Fisherman's Memorial, also known as the Man at the Wheel, and you'll see why it's called that. shows a man on a sloped deck heading into a storm grasping the wheel there's a little quote from the Bible now these are the names these are the people that the, they are they know the names of who have died on ships that have come out of this port in Gloucester it's actually 5,368 names. I'm gonna to try to show this sign here. Now the worst years were 1860 to 1906. There were 660 ships that sank and almost 4,000 sailors lost in those years. 
there was uh, one year, 1879, 249 fishermen died and uh, 29 vessels were lost. 159 men in one storm. By the way, the movie, The Perfect Storm, uh, that's based on a, on a crew that left from Gloucester. Another movie that was filmed here, and there have been several, but is the, is the movie that won Best Picture this year, a movie called Coda. Now this thing that I'm going to zoom in on, don't laugh when I tell you, it's, uh, it's where they have what they call the greasy pole competition. People walk, they try to walk across that pole when it's covered with grease and capture a flag. And you really need to look that up on YouTube. You can see like a three minute compilation from this year's competition. If you watch that, you'll see that uh, most people cannot even make it a st more than a couple of steps before they fall. And uh, the falls that people take trying to cross that pole are spectacular, and it's very dangerous. All right, they're lining up, getting ready for their whale watch. popular seafood company. All right, we're back in Rockport. This is the Performing Arts Center, and I just heard yesterday this took $22 million to renovate. So the next thing I'm going to do is bring us through that alley there and down to the beach. The mornings on this beach are very peaceful. It's just a quiet little beach. There's some folks doing uh, what I think is yoga. So this beach is called Front Beach. And uh, of course, that means there is another beach not far from here called Back Beach. But this is the nicer one, and this is the one that we come to. By the way, it's getting to, to the point where some of the beaches around here require reservations, believe it or not during the day if you're going to go to that beach, but this one does not.
So this is the, the grave of a woman named Hannah Jumper. She was the leader of a gang called the Hatchet Gang. And they were instrumental in what was called the temperance movement. They were against alcohol. They raided local businesses that were selling alcohol on July 8, 1856. And uh, from that year until 2005, so there's the hatchet, this town has been dry. In 2005, they had a referendum and voted to say that restaurants could serve alcohol. Well, this is where we're going to end our video, is in this cemetery, looking down at the beach there, just to see the proximity to the beach, I guess. But I hope you've enjoyed this little look around Rockport, Massachusetts, and Gloucester, Massachusetts. Okay, I, I decided we have to end the video here instead. We're going to see this seagull eating breakfast. I think he's eating a crab. I like to watch animals. You've probably noticed. And that's what's left. All right, we'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.